A rifle shooting event taking place in Fort Wayne today, but one of those athletes, this competition, it comes on the heels of a major accomplishment. We turn to ABC 21's Tyler Brummett, who was there and spoke with that shooter who has quite the resume. Well, Tony, this is such a cool story right here. Lucas Kaczynski was one of the many people competing today at the X count. However, just weeks ago, he was competing on the world's biggest stage in Tokyo at the Olympics. He brought home a silver medal, and while Kaczynski might have been the biggest name competing, he's hopeful to make an impact and grow the outreach of shooting sports. A competition Sunday of Olympic proportions. Dozens of shooters lining up with their rifles pointed down range. Many of them possible rising stars. Among these athletes, Lucas Kaczynski. I'm a very holistic kind of athlete, and so my training really doesn't end. He's not just your average sports shooter. He already has quite the resume. It's, it was good. It was the best Olympics we've had in a very long time. Kaczynski competed at the Olympics in Rio back in 2016. And just weeks ago, he was in Tokyo, where he took home a silver medal. It was invigorating. I mean, it was like, it's like, oh my God, you know, it reaffirmed like everything that I did. It's like, yep, this, this is it. This works. This is really cool. For the 26-year-old, it's more than just a sport. He medals in the opportunity to teach others. I work and coach with a bunch of the junior athletes um, through my business, and so a good number of them are here. And so I, um, it made a lot of sense to come out here and you know compete, kind of get get things going again, and to see them and connect and work with them on some stuff. Kaczynski knows there's a learning curve when people first start out. It's not just about competing though for him. It's also time for him to make memories. It's been fruitful because you know it helps me out. It gives me. Um, Way, ways to re-engage in the sport in different avenues, but it also helps develop youth. And while Kaczynski competes with a group that is close to his heart, he hopes his success in Tokyo is just the beginning. Ah, oh, what a great guy now. Kaczynski tells me that he did take a brief break after the Olympics, but he's actually planning to start training once again, this time for the Olympic Games in 2024, which will happen in Paris. He encourages anyone who might have an interest in shooting to give it a shot. Tony, such a cool story right here and a really good guy trying to help make a difference in the sport that he loves. A cool story indeed. Today, a local group called Java, also known as Justice Accountability and Victims Advocacy. Well, they hosted a fundraiser. They're saying that they were trying to keep families of those who have lost lost ones to crime. They're keeping them in their memories. Well, tonight, Vince Leverjean, he spoke with one of those families who's still seeking justice. Vince. Tony, I talked with the Weehee family who say their daughter was killed in a shooting back in 2018. Tonight, they tell me they are not giving up and they will continue to honor their daughter by seeking justice for her. November 23rd, 2018, a day the Weehee family will never forget when Kim and Scott's 30-year-old daughter, Misty, was killed. Life has not been the same since. Kim and Scott both tell me Misty was a generous, big-hearted woman, and she always would put herself before others. She says Java has been a wonderful support system to them. I wouldn't have survived without them. Just the moral support, anytime I needed to talk, I could call any of them. And Teresa Julerette, a co-founder of Java, explains why the third annual Ride for Justice fundraiser is important to those who have lost their loved ones to tragic events. We were not alone, you know, all of these, we were strangers at one point in time. And just being able to connect with someone that feels what you feel, you know, has cried the tears that you cry, it is so important because it gives you some sort of release, you know, when you're in the company of those who know what you're going through. And members of True Kings Motorcycle Club understand that. They're teaming up with Java, making sure the voices of the victims' families are heard and justice is served. When the justice system starts doing what they need to do, we'll support them. But until then, we're going to talk, we're going to loud, we're going to scream. We want justice. We want closure. We want these people to go home and be able to sleep at nighttime. A message Kim and Scott appreciates and are grateful for. You will not see one of the group, Java group ever, ever give up trying to find justice for their child. Never. We're not going away. About 25 bikes and cars were a part of the ride. Now, Julerette and the members of Java say if you lost a loved one to a crime or other tragic events like car crashes or drug overdoses, she tells me Java is always willing to help. Thank you for that, Vince. 
ABC 21 is your back to school headquarters and as Fort Wayne Community School students return to the classrooms, our Carly Van Cleve talked to a teacher returning to her students. Nikki Faults is the 2000, 2000, the 2021 Fort Wayne Community Schools Teacher of the Year. She was virtually teaching at Wayne Dale Elementary and on Monday morning she gets to have her students back in person for the first time in more than a year. She talks about her struggles teaching remotely and what it means to be able to be back in person once more. I knew I'd miss the kids, but you know, it's that energy and that momentum and all those things that happen in the classroom that you just can't get the same when you're on Zoom. And you know, the idea that you get to have this impact on so many people's lives that you normally wouldn't be able to. And I think, um, you know, that's something that's pretty special. Foltz also talks about her passion for teaching. So you can tune in to our ABC 21 back to school coverage is happening tomorrow morning. You can hear the full story. It's time now to introduce you to our Young Entrepreneur of the Month. Each month, ABC 21 partners with Junior Achievement of Northern Indiana to show you young people who have started or they are starting their own businesses. This month, we feature ne well, Wilson Needleton. We'll meet him now and let's hear his story. This is Wilson Needleton. He's the creator behind the Wander brand, a business that he started in February of 2020, and he inspires to change the world one wandering trip at a time. So the whole brand kind of started because I've always been, kind of had a knack for entrepreneurship. And then um, actually, like the tattoo on my forearm, I ended up seeing a tattoo months before, started a YouTube channel all around like wandering and wondering. So I thought that like those two things symbolized curiosity more than any other two words, like wandering through the body and wandering through like the mind. At the time, he was a student at Ball State. And that's when the soon-to-be entrepreneur says the business idea clicked in his head that clothing is the best way to get any message everywhere because a t-shirt is just like a moving billboard. So then I kind of pivoted from the YouTube channel right into printing t-shirts. The online store is really just people for the brand. The retail store, anyone could walk through those doors. And I want to make sure I always have some, a little bit of something for everyone. Wilson loves to travel, and he's also a very curious young man. He lets his mind and feet wander, so he loves the term wander because... When I got the whole idea from like wandering, I loved it so much because like wandering means you're traveling with no destination, like it's truly living in the moment. And then um, same with the wondering, when you're wondering about something, it's a lot more of the questioning, less about like finding the answer. And that's where I was like, these two words just symbolize all things curious, which I've always loved curiosity. You'll find travel art designs and all the needs for your outdoor styles, from the mountains to the trees and even the sun, and even some things that are not in Indiana, but many things that you can find by taking a short trip. But Wilson hasn't been on this journey alone. Much inspiration coming from one of his mentors, Philip Butler. Philip is a JAG specialist at Manchester Junior Senior High School. They met when Wilson was a student at the school.